Hello, Aries. This is your reading. This is starting for November. It'll be around the 12th, around mm, mid-November. The energies are changing up pretty quickly, and I'm sorry I haven't been um, giving the readings as early as possible, but I had a family issue again that I will probably address on my Facebook, uh, not my Facebook, um, well, my website. I'm going to put it on my website. That way I can freely speak, you know? But this is for Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising, November, starting around mid-November, before mid-November. And like I said, these energies are going to change, change, change constantly. So we'll be getting new messages each and every time, probably, about something that's going on that is important in your life, you know? It'll be the five card spread, and I will be giving a mini pick a card love reading at the end, and I will put, be pulling a twin flame card for you also. Let's see what's going on here. Reason why I shuffle like this, people ask me, um, because I bend these cards when you try to, you know, separate them and split, you know, split shuffle them down the middle. Um, so I don't want to bend them anymore. Father of Cups. Okay, Aries, you may be dealing with an emotional or someone with a lot of into, inner energy. They keep their energies in, but they're emotional. Could be a type of Scorpio energy, but doesn't have to be coming in. Okay, they're, they're in the upright. I don't see anything wrong with them, but they're very intuitive. Um, they're a little bit older than you. Okay. Past position. Four of Swords, in the past you took a break from something because you had to, you had to recover. Maybe some of you were not feeling well. Maybe some of you just needed a break from the world or maybe the world made you take a break as a lot of people already know. But it's the Four of Swords energy of taking a break. See that cat sleeping? Hmm? Obstacle, which you're supposed to be working towards. The Father of Pentacles. So we got a little bit of um, people around uh, late 30s and up. Father of Pentacles uh, in your life. You're supposed to be turning a situation around. It could be also you're trying to re, uh, regain your stability. And I'll see as I clarify. Clarify tells us a lot more. It can make it more interesting. Current environment. Mother of Pentacles. What is going on here? Aries, you're dealing with people. You're dealing with family or like important people around you that are a little bit older. Mother of Pentacles. Um, it could be a Capricorn, but it doesn't have to be, okay? It could be any earth sign. What is coming towards you? The Father of Wands. I may just redo this reading, give you two readings, because this is telling me a lot of people. It, I will clarify, because it could tell me a lot more about the people. What is coming towards you, and it's not you, the Father of Wands. It's more like a Leo energy. And again, these are older people you're going to be dealing with for some reason. I'm, Outcome, the sun. There is happiness in all this, but I got to find out what all these people are about. I got to clarify because they're definitely there. Um, you got someone that's coming towards you. It's more Leo-ish, um, very, very energetic, charismatic, good looking. Um, like I said, they're a little bit older. These people are more are mature or experienced. That could be it too. But let's find out what's going on. Like I said, I'll be giving a mini love reading, but this could be all kinds of things. In the past, you had to take a break. A lot of people did, right? Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Four of Swords. Why are they there? Why is it there um, in the past position? Even though some of you may be still doing this because we're all on a different timetable, but I'm feeling this energy is going to be passing pretty quickly. That's why I'm trying to do the five-card spread. And I'll probably return to the full Celtic Cross either December or January. I plan on giving a full year 2021 reading, too, because that should be definitely interesting. The High Priestess, maybe a secret came out. You had to take a break or situations came out, and you had to start saving money or keeping close um, finances to what... Um, you needed to, to keep, you know, saving money and also making money and accumulating wealth. You may have to take a break and start saving, you know, holding your money back a little, keeping what is yours, you know, and because something came out when the high priestess is in reverse, there's no more secrets, things come out, you know. So the father of pentacles is what you're supposed to be um, striving for, trying to turn around as an obstacle. Like I said, it could be, well, that could be like a 
Taurus type energy, but it doesn't have to be. Like I said, an older earth sign, someone mature, someone, or you're trying to regain stability in something. So the Father of Pentacles, I need two cards, please, for Aries. Eight of Earth, lack of work possibly, and the Tower, trying to avoid a Tower situation, trying to stop something from crumbling down. That's what you're supposed to be working towards. Maybe finding work or a different type of work, uh, regaining stability. You may be trying to, maybe you're overworked with the Father of Pentacles. Maybe you're working with this person, but you're trying to avoid a tower with them. Trying to um, keep things on an even keel. You're trying to prevent um, just screw ups from happening in your life that will um, make you feel like you can't recover. It's, it's, it's not that, you know, you're going to allow it to happen. It's what you're supposed to be fighting towards. You're supposed to be making sure that um, you keep things on an even keel. And you probably already know this, okay? We're going to find out. You're going to have happiness in the end. But it's saying keep what you're doing. You're trying to prevent your world from crumbling. I'm trying to put these into words. But you got the Mother of Pentacles. That's the current environment. It could be a Capricorn. For some of you, like I said, it could be just the Mother Earth figure, someone who's trying to work out a situation where it's in their favor. With the Mother of Pentacles, and even you could take up this energy, even though you're a fire sign, is someone who's able to keep things going, keep things, um, bills paid, look for outlets to where they can um, survive in this world and they're actually doing very good at it. They're considered the person that everybody goes to when there's a problem and they have usually really good wisdom. They're very um, good caretakers, very nurturing and can run like a whole village if they wanted to. But the Mother of Pentacles in the upright, I need two cards please for Aries. Three of Water. The Empress. So something is going on. I think it's something to go on with possibly your mother or the mother type figure. Or maybe you can't get together with this person for whatever reason. Because you got the three of water in reverse there where people come together in an emotional stance. More than one person. Enjoying life. Contentment. Supporting each other. It's like... Something is preventing you or, get, or interfering in this area of your life with this person. I do see it taking a break here. That's why I'm saying that. And you're trying to avoid a tower. So something happened. It will be different for all Aries. But it's like something messed up your or interfered in your life where now you're trying to regain focus. Now, you do have something coming towards you with a lot of powerful energy. Is the Father of Wands. They're very powerful people, very energetic, charismatic. Let's find out what they're all about. They're in the upright. You know, the current environment and what's coming towards you is both in the upright. Okay, there's, it looks like there's positivity attached to this. I'm just not getting the whole picture yet. So the Father of Wands for Aries. I need two cards, please. Some of you in this one are definitely ten of water. You definitely got some good stuff coming, okay? You may have avoid a total mess up. You know, it's there. It's there. You're feeling it. But it looks like you get the ten of water where something gives you overall contentment. Someone with a lot of passion. So for a few of you, it can be, yeah, it could be definitely a fire type energy, okay? It's fire, fire. It's coming towards you. So you're going to get emotional contentment again. Even though all this has happened and had occurred, you're going to, I think, regain stability. Some of you, like I said, could be dealing with another, you know, not another, but an earth sign. An earth sign that is, uh, may help you with growth in some way. Someone that you want to get in contact with in, in, in your life that will bring happiness. Because they're there to support you. I feel like you get, you're going to have a lot of support. And like I said, you're going to get your ten of water, which is like... They call the happily ever after card. But a happily ever, ever after, this person is going to go after or bring in, or this energy is going to bring in something that you really are emotionally in tune to, that you emotionally want at this time. 
It's going to make you happy, whatever it is. Whatever this is, it's going to make you very happy. But let's find out more information with the Sun card. You get the Sun, you get the Ten of Water in the end. Rather have it in the end than the beginning and this part in the end, you know. But the Sun in the upright. Two cards, please, for Aries. Let's find out what's going on. Remember, this energy starts here. It doesn't end, okay, here. Remember that? Oh, yeah. You are definitely going to be... Um, Maybe celebrating, enjoying life, having abundance, um, being with people that you like from the past. Maybe you couldn't be with them before. Remember I said you couldn't um, be with people. You couldn't be emotionally celebrating with people um, over here. But it looks like they're coming in again and good memories are going to be made. Okay, good memories are going to be made. Earth, water. Let's see, we see all these, all the signs just about here. But I see earth, water, fire, all of it here. But I do see the queen of earth, which is over here, and the queen of earth over here coming in, bringing in good memories. And remember, these could be male or female, any of these uh, cards. People don't know that. But it's more like they're being very nurturing, you know, if it's a male. Um, they're, they're being very kind. They're not putting on a tough stance, a masculine energy. But it also could be a female, like the mother. But I do see you creating really good memories here and positive things that are bringing you emotional contentment that lasts a long time, okay? Nine of water, you get wish fulfillment. I'm not getting this a lot for people. And it's really hard, or it's very been very difficult to read this past year. I do see positive things coming the whole time, but I also see in the cards where people had to, overcome barriers and interferences and society in general and the cards were telling them this is how you do it this was going to happen if you go this way and so you're getting wish fulfillment so make your wish aries let's see what the love cards say or um the love reading says pick a card love reading and this is for november whenever you start watching this actually you don't have to actually watch it in november some people are compelled to watch a reading and it works out for them, you know. But this is uh, for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising. Pick a card, love reading. Three cards I want to pull out. And you choose what you feel drawn to. But I do bring them all together in the end for secondary energies, which a lot of times they make sense when I do that. Not always, but a lot of times. Plus, I'll be pulling a twin flame card for each and every section. But this is for Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising. New energies, positive energy starting around mid-November, but it doesn't have to start then. It start any time, but I'm calling for November. You'll know when this happens. I think this energy myself, and I'm just saying this, um, because of the energies that are changing, you're going to get newer messages pretty quickly, okay? Different messages. So I'm going to try, as my family is going through their own thing, to get these readings out more. So, Moonology, Sun, Moon, Rising, Aries, for their love life. We need to know about their love life. They want to know about their love. Some of them do. Not everybody does. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising. But I really don't get that many positive readings like this one. Not with this ending. Not lately. You know, I see it down the future a lot of times, but not like this. So, you got a good thing coming. Uh, twin flame messages for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising. Twin flame messages. What is going on with Aries? For the twin flame, the twin flame. What does your twin flame want you to know? What is the story with this twin flame for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising? Starting around mid-November. Ah, someone just wants you to be happy. Someone wants you to be happy. I have no doubt about that, looking at the other cards. Okay. Let's see what we got here. If you pick this section, Aries, if you pick this. This person, if you're dealing with somebody, and it could be, I think, in someone you had dealt with in the past, you may not see them for... The first couple of weeks or the or first end or the end of couple of weeks of November because they're still trying to go through their 
the, what they're going through. They're still trying to find themselves. And I see this a lot. So it's unlikely you will see them within the first, well, between... By the 20th, I don't see. think you'll see them by the 20th or the 21st, but you know, but prosperity li does lie ahead. You are getting your 10 of cups, so it's unlikely, it says here, you will see them for that first week or so, but they're still trying to, there's something going on with them. I do see a lot of mess ups here where someone's having a tower, someone took a break, but prosperity lies ahead when it comes to love. You just got to be patient with this person if you're looking for them to come in or find out what's going on with them. I feel that intensely. Something is going on with them that could be the way the world is right now, okay? They're dealing with a lot of stuff, if that's what you're thinking. Now, if you believe the love will come in, you will have a win-win outcome forecast in, in love. But you got to be positive. If you're always negative, people pick that up. And they don't want to be involved with negative people. Not always. Well, most of the time, not. Every once in a while. But um, full moon in Libra is a win-win outcome, if you believe. And if you're dealing with a twin flame, they, you're never far from your mind. They're constantly thinking about you. But something may be going on that you don't know about. But um, if you believe a love situation will come in, it'll be a win-win, whatever you're wanting. Um, but remember, whoever you're dealing with and you're thinking about yourself, you know, you're not far from their mind. They're, they're, you're still there, okay? If you're asked in the universe a yes or a no question, ask it now. Mm -hmm. It's a yes, okay? I like to do that because sometimes people are always asking a question. So it's a yes, okay? But remember... If you're thinking that something is not working out and you're thinking something is totally finished in your life or you're thinking love is not going to come in, because sometimes this is a future love that we're talking about, um, nothing is set in stone. So don't think that things are not going to work out for you. Don't think that love is not going to come in, okay? And if you're dealing with a twin flame in this one, like, like I said, I'm going to bring them all together. They think you're irreplaceable. They know that no one else will come in that could take your place. You're not, you know, you're, 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 you are irreplaceable is what I'm trying to say. So I think some of you are dealing with somebody who's going through emotional situations. I did see that here and the other reading with that may have a lot to do with it. Um, so I don't think you're going to be seeing them for this week coming up. That's coming up. Cause there's a lot of, I feel a lot of chaos you know, in, in their world. But prosperity lies ahead when it comes to love. So let them do what they need to do because you are never far from their mind, okay? It's a win-win, but you got to believe in this situation that it will work out and let time pass or let these weeks pass and let everybody um, settle down. But realize they are thinking about you. They, they're not trying to replace you. with it. They know they can't replace you, okay? And realize you got a yes answer from the universe. Don't think that love won't come in or something won't work out or that new love won't come in because nothing's this is not going to stay the same is what it's saying this is not this weird energy that's over here that's been hindering people and interfering in your life that's going to change because you got the ten of cups something that you're emotionally content have a lot of emotional contentment towards okay it's going to make you happy and cause really good memories and abundance in an emotional sense with the six of water it's emotional contentment, memories, good things coming in, making good memories. So you're going to make a lot of good memories with somebody that's going to bring you a happily ever after situation. So don't worry about someone or that's trying to work themselves out. Let them work themselves out. And if you're looking for new love, realize that it is going to come in. Okay, it is going to come in. And if someone is not receptive towards you that you're interested in, they probably will later on. Okay, but you nothing is is set in stone. So if someone told you or you think love is not going to come in, you got to sweep that away. You got to believe in that love will come in and get rid of the negativity because people like positive people. Aries is going through a lot. A lot of people are, but you're getting something that's pretty cool coming in. Okay. Something that you're really going to like. Okay. Something you can build memories on. Good memories, not the bad. You can, you're going to just sweep this behind you after this. After this all over, you just sweep it behind you, the negative, the negative situations. I'm going to let this go. I'm starting to lose my air here, and I'll talk to you later, okay? Bye.